Hi guys, welcome to Nurture Tech Academy. My name is Lokesh. In earlier videos, we have gone through with some functions, and now we're gonna see some count functions. Now, let's see that we have some data. This data says that months, which is Jan, Feb, and March. Then we have some sales representatives. Then type of the customer they served whether it is a new customer or an existing one and the amount of sales they have done now what is my motive is that I want the total number of entries what I want is total number of entries okay so the best way to look at the count is if I just select this whole range you know from A10 to A35 if I look at it I can see the count over here in this status bar which is 26 this is the easiest way to do it but what if if I want to count in Excel sheet okay in this case if I just count it and write 26 over here as let's say um, over here let's say 26 okay so it's gonna be a hard number what if if someone insert a new entry let's say like this okay it will remain 26 it will not change so it is always recommended in Excel that always try to put formulas wherever you want and references so it should be dynamic anytime somebody or if you change the data the result will automatically change but it's a hard number right here so it cannot be changed so I am trying to undo it yeah okay so let's see how can I do it with a formula now if I use account function if I use account function and if I look at the syntax if I look at the syntax it show me that value 1 value 2 value 3 and so on so all these values are in square bracket as I already told you that square bracket means these arguments are optional but argument 1 is mandatory because it's not in square bracket okay so count if I use this count function on this range which is my month range and if I select it yeah that's it okay and if I close the bracket it will not give me the answer it is showing zero the reason is that it doesn't work on text okay it doesn't work on text now I do have numbers that's perfect so if I use this count function on numbers again I'm using is count and I am filling up the range with this amount one yeah and if I close the bracket and enter again it is giving me a wrong result which is 24 but the total number of entries as we have already seen were 26 okay because there are two blanks so count function doesn't count the blanks also so it's it's a wrong entry so what I can do is I have to the uh, the least option for me is that I have to apply a formula that work on text okay so in this case what I can do is I can use another function of a count which is known as count a this one count a now the syntax is pretty much same as in count now if I just go to either month sales representative type whatever and if I just select it uh, okay what is the shortest way to select it if we have entry till the end what I can do is just put the cursor on the first data and then control shift and down arrow okay so it will select all the data and if I close the bracket and enter there we go that's 26 so this count a function is far superior than count because it also works on numbers as well so in any case if you want to count something you can always use count a instead of count that's it guys thank you and in further videos we'll also see the other count function let's say count blank count if count ifs and so on till then goodbye and uh, one more thing that if you want to buy our video tutorial you can buy it you can just visit this website and contact us on that thank you thanks a lot